Hello everyone, so nice to see you again. Welcome back to Dana's Babies. This is Studio Life. I'm Faith on a B. Setley and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be applying a special effects paste to this particular painting to further enhance the 3D effects um, for further applications down the line in bringing this painting to life. Now, if you're new to my channel and you like what I do, by all means, click the subscribe. Would so love to see you in my little art family. Um, also, if you would be so kind, please and thanks, uh, click to like the video itself because that bumps me up in the ranks of YouTube. More people get to see the video and who knows, I might actually be able to help somebody else. So before we get around it, I am going to give you a little looky loo at this particular painting because it is three feet tall. Now I did a previous video on this piece and it is in my playlist on my art channel, I've got playlists now, under the title of Dana's Babies. So, if you want to see all I've done up to this point as the background for this painting, by all means, pop on in, check it out. Now, fasten this up a little bit. What do we need to get around the effects we're going to be doing today? Now, I'm not focusing on finishing the entire painting in front of you because it's not possible. It's a huge painting. Um... And I like to post these videos to Facebook as well. So what I am going to focus on is making this paste, showing you how it's applied, and anything else what I do, so that you sort of know what you're doing. We need cotton balls. Lots and lots of cotton balls for this effect. And you can get them any place, dollar shop, drug shop, any place. Also, we need shot glasses. One empty shot glass. One full shot glass. Uh, again, plastic shot glasses, any dollar shop will do. So, what else do we need? Three particular types, if I can get my hand up here, there we go, of paintbrushes. Uh, now, you can use any full size brush. I like the angle one myself for what I'm going to do. Um, also, there's a little, what I call an oval brush and a fine liner right here for really fine jobs you can see that from the shadow from my hand i got these at the giddy goblin i'm not sure what size they are because there's no size on them at all but um yeah they're a nice brush and they don't shed so i really like that paint tray uh, yeah i know it's a frisbee <laughs> but i really find these work particularly well for large amounts of paint for paint washes because they've got this really nice edge and the chances of the paint spilling out are infinitesimally small um also if you muck them up with metallics or something they're really cheap bin them get a new one now what is going into this paste Ta -da! speedball screen printing fabric ink you can get this off Amazon, you can get this in Michael's, own sound, anyway. Um, all the paints in this paste are various shades of white. And together they give a really nice soft effect, which is what we want, really, for what I'm doing. And this is Deco Art Crafters Acrylic Acrylic Paint. Again, white. Dollar Shop brand. You know, I, I don't need the fancy schmancy ones. Um, I have used them. They're more expensive bronze, but I don't particularly need them. Dinner Rowney FW White Ink. Um, Lasting Memory Locker Room in Hanover carries these. Color Jar in Durham carries these. Amazon uh, Dinner Rowney Site Online also carries these. And. Look about rag. So, before we get round it, I'm going to take this empty shot glass and this pure acrylic paint, and you can't see me for a minute, and I'm actually going to put a bit of the white. Now, this is the downfall with acrylic paint. It does get quite gungy, what I call gungy. And um, that's why another reason why I like to just yeah, mix it with other paints because it's easier to avoid the gunge. So we're going to take this fine liner brush, 
and this pure white acrylic paint. Now I'm hoping you will be able to see me once I adjust my lovely little camera all the way up here. And we are going to steal the moon. No, we're not. We're just going to line it, actually. And we're just going to put a fine, light coating of pure acrylic paint on the moon to give it a nice base. And my voice is rubbish, and I'm terribly sorry about that. to enhance where we're going with the 3D process. Now, this particular painting is at a really vulnerable stage right now because it's not, I'm hoping you can see my hand, it's not been sprayed. So once I get this paste on and it dries, that is what I will be doing, is spraying this painting so that we can come back in for the next step. Now that is done. So, but we're not done with the acrylic paint. We will need it later. Well, <laughs> shortly later, whatever. So we're gonna make this paste now. I'm gonna bring this camera all the way down because we are at, I believe six minutes already. There we go, all the way down, whoops. Tighten it up. Make sure my camera doesn't flop about. Now, speedball paint. I'm going to take this, pop the lid, and we're going to take this full on brush. And we're going to put this, I'm hoping you can see me. Otherwise, that would be pretty silly, wouldn't it? Now, <laughs> we're just going to put a bunch of this in the tray and like i said i'm not concerned with finishing the whole painting because it's not going to happen so i'm only going to make up so much of this because i can do it again okay now we're going to set this aside and i actually got the fwr inks in the little really messy bottle <laughs> poor thing and we're going to apply A bunch of this. I'm hoping you can see me. Otherwise, we've got a problem. And we're going to mix it up. I'm trying to watch the camera and what I'm doing at the same time. And this stuff with the speedball paint. It takes a bit to dry because it is a softer paint. That is another reason why we are sort of adding in the water acrylic. Okay, so we've got some of this. I'm just going to put a little bit in. Check my camera again. There we go. And we're going to mix that up as well. Really, really well. You can see now why I really like frisbees for paint trays. And they last a really long time. So we've got all this in here now. What we're going to add is some water. Not much. Because we don't want this running all down the painting. So we're just going to add a little bit. Set that aside. Just enough to sort of moisturize it a little bit, if you will. Because we don't want it drying too fast with the acrylic paint in it. And I really gotta watch what I'm doing because I'll be running out of time. And you mix. 
mix it up really well. Now we're going to set this aside. <clears throat> and we're going to move the camera quite quickly back up to. Come on, where I want to go with you. Because we're at 10 minutes. Oh, it's not too, too shabby. I've got to stop at 14. So we're going to take cotton ball. A cotton ball. And we are going to dab, dab, dab. Dab, dab, dab. Like so, you get a huge amount on the cotton ball. And I'm trusting you can see me. And we're just going to dab. What we want is sort of a sporadic, uh, fluffy effect. Dab, dab, dab. Now, if your cotton ball gets so it's putting a huge amount of paint on, that's not really sort of a fluffy effect, it's just sort of a white blob. Being the cotton ball, get a new one, because that's not the effect we're going for here. We sort of want to see a little bit of the canvas through what we are doing. You don't want like huge blobby things of paint all about. Just like soft, like clouds. Now, for close up to the dogs, this is where this little overbrush comes in handy. And you can get right up close and personal and if you get too much paint on your brush go back pick it up and move on bring it down to the next spot so you can see why this takes a really long time and what time are we at? 12 free, okay, I got uh, just a wee bit more time. And after this is all dry, we will spray it and get ready for the next step. So, thanks for watching. Have a great day, everyone. Love you. Keep watching, keep subscribing. Stay tuned for the next bit. Love you. Bye-bye.